Hi, my name is Johnny Fosnight, and for my object-oriented programming class, I made a maze generation um, program using Java. Um, as you can see here, uh, it generates a nice maze. Um, I went ahead and built it into an actual game, so you can go ahead and move around the maze uh, using the arrow keys. Um, and it keeps track of how many moves up here. And uh, and it will also tell you when you finish. Um, the maze generation algorithm that I use generates what's called a perfect maze that um, allows you to choose any point along the edges of the maze. Um, and it will have exactly one path um, to solve. So if I cho chose the bottom left hand corner and the top right hand corner, there'd still be exactly one solution to the maze. Um, as you can see here, it generates this nice perfect maze. Uh, let's go ahead and look at the code a little bit here. Um, let's see. On the main class here, uh, the maze game class, there's a size um, for the X and Y as well as the cell size. Uh, if we go ahead and just bump these up, it will generate a larger maze. Um, as you can see, it's a much larger maze. Um, it's a lot more complicated. Another nice feature that I was able to incorporate into it is the ability to print out to the printer. Um, or if you have a PDF writer, you can print a PDF. Um, that's really handy as you can uh, generate a random maze and print one out. Um, so that you can actually uh, give it to somebody to solve. Um, the cell size here changes the spacing of the uh, maze and basically just makes it a whole lot smaller. Right. Let's go ahead and take a quick look at the code. Um, as you can see we have our sizes here um, on this main class. It um, initializes and draws the um, the main J-frame for the um, maze to display in as well as um, setting it focusable, which allows me to capture the arrow keys. Um, the maze class here is what actually takes care of generating the maze itself. Um, as you can see, I have some uh, constructor, uh, constructor functions here, as well as a few different methods. Uh, the primary method is the generate maze method, which goes through this algorithm here and actually generates the maze uh, and all the walls and everything. Um, I found this algorithm on this website here um, and it's just written in pseudocode so I had to take that pseudocode and then translate that into actual Java. Um, ended up using um, a stack in Java as well as an array list and uh, some other uh, custom things like a custom vertex class um, and just went through the algorithm and basically followed it doing all the pushes and pops and everything. Uh, the maze display class actually takes care of displaying the maze. Um, it has a few different functions. There's a print function. Uh, the main method here uh, takes care of walking through each cell of the maze and if the cell has a wall then it um, draws a line there to display that wall. Um, it also takes care of displaying where your cursor is at if you are um, going through the maze using the arrow keys. Um, player class wasn't used. Uh, cell class, this stores some of the information about each cell including um, which walls are up as well as which walls are borders. Uh, the borders solution and backtrack ended up not being used, uh, but I did use the walls as well as this integer x and y coordinate. Um, it also has a member function, uh, check walls, which just simply checks if all of the walls are up or not. Uh, the vertex class ended up just being a few variables um, that I set but ended up being very useful because I could push that entire um, data object onto a stack or a list. 
um, that about does it for the uh, maze game. So thank you and have a nice day.